you could have the best and most talented body and strength and not have the mental capacity for it, and you, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere. So much at stake tonight. World champion gymnast Sean Johnson's seemingly unshakable focus, explosive height, and rock-solid landings have earned her gold at major international competitions and a first-place berth to Beijing. At the age of 16, she is driven and stands up to daunting pressures. They call us the survivors of our sport just because it really, it just, it pushes you to your physical and mental limit. Sean was born with a natural talent for gymnastics that has been carefully nurtured by her coaches. She is a very talented kid. She's strong and also she takes corrections really well. I think the reason she's doing so well right now because she had a great foundation. From her very low level, when she's just a tiny seven years old, and she started doing very well in the competition. Each year I progressed one level, and finally it came down to wanting to go to the Olympics. Sean's coaches, the husband and wife team of Liang Chao and Li Bin Zhuang, are natives of Beijing. The couple met in the late 1980s when they were both gymnasts on the Chinese national team. Chao and Li will return to Beijing for the games. In addition to coaching Sean, Chao has been named head coach for the U.S. women's gymnastics team. When I started my gymnastic career when I was five, uh, I was very proud of my first junior national champion, a first real gold medal when I was 13. Chow won more than 30 international gold medals before a leg injury led to his retirement in 1991 at the age of 23. Before Chow's rise to prominence on the Chinese team, Tom Dunn, head men's gymnastics coach at the University of Iowa, had tried to recruit Chow to be a Hawkeye. He had a family friend that was at the University of Iowa, and uh, she brought a videotape for me to watch, and he was interested in coming to Iowa. And after I saw the tape, I was very interested in having him, you know, join our team. It was not gymnastics, but a scholarship to study English that first brought Chow to the state in 1991. He became an assistant gymnastics coach at the University of Iowa in 1993. Chow and Lee moved from Iowa City to West Des Moines in 1998 to open Chow's Gymnastics and Dance Institute. We're trying to create opportunities for all kids, building their confidence, teamwork, uh, flexibility, strength, all together is an entire package. It's not like we're only teaching the top elite world-class gymnasts. Chow and Lee's knowledge and experience have enhanced Sean's talent and drive. The result is a gold medal contender. It's hard because they're pushing you to your physical limit, just trying to make you good enough to go to the Olympics. Your coaches set due dates for you for certain skills, and you have to learn to concentrate and set your focus on what you want and work hard for that certain goal. Sean is one of the only gymnasts in the world to perform at the highest level of difficulty in several events, giving her a possible scoring advantage at the Olympics. You just learn one more flip or one more twist until, I don't know, I ended up doing two twists and two, <laughs> two flips, which is kind of scary, but um, it's just one step at a time. You do probably 20 skills in a row, like on a tumble track or a trampoline, and it teaches you to teach your mind where you are, and I think that transfers over to the balance beam. I don't see how I'm flipping and twisting and still landing on it. I definitely get nervous. I mean, I get out there and I've got butterflies and all that, but I think when I get nervous, it helps me. It gets my adrenaline going. I try to go out and have fun. I mean, that kind of centers everything. Just having fun is the same thing that I do in practice and with my teammates, so it helps me stay normal. I think to myself, this is no different than practice, and I just go out and do that one more routine and try to make it perfect. Very, very solid routine from Sean Johnson.